What, what is up guys, Muffin.Man bringing you another video and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a recovery uh, media, USB recovery media. Now the reason why somebody would create something like this is number one say their operating system was corrupted to some degree where they can't boot into the operating system then what you'll be able to do is literally just plug this in your computer, turn your, lab turn your computer laptop desktop on and it should boot straight into it. So this is going to be something for Windows 10. Uh, many reasons why you would do this as well. Partly is because this does contain a let's say recovery media tool that you can also get from the Microsoft website but the advantages of using a recovery media is that it also backs up the drivers and I think it also does updates as well so if you have you know installed all the updates on your computer it will back that up to your recovery let me know if I'm wrong, I'm not 100% sure about this, but definitely the drivers, it does do that. Um, so, you know, whenever you get a new laptop or computer, first thing you should do is, you know, update the system, update the drivers, and then create a recovery. And again, that's that's one of the biggest reasons why. Say that you decided to change out a hard drive in your laptop, and you, you're like, well, actually, how do I get the OS onto the new one? You can use my uh, cloning software or migration software to you know copy the OS and you know the documents over to the hard drive. But sometimes I found that quite specific depending on the brand. So say you've got a Samsung one, you kind of have to use their their software and uh, so on for say Kingston, you've got to use their software. And there might be other ways around it, but I did find this way to be one of the easiest ways to do it in my opinion. Um, so one thing we're going to do is we need a USB. Preferably, you can use 16 gigs of a uh, USB that has 16 gigs, but I would prefer personally to use a USB that has 32. You know, if it, just you know, more comfortable, the more memory. You don't need anything above that point, though. I think 16 is pretty much all you need, really. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to literally, and this is for Windows 10, by the way. And the good thing about Windows, say 8 and 10, is they actually had the activation keys within the actual motherboard BIOS. So rather than so even if you did happen to lose your data, like your whole computer gets wiped, you can actually just put this in there, recover your recover the OS, and once you once you're online, they can verify your activation key. Even this, even if you had decided to go to the Microsoft website and download their media tool, which allows you to make it your USB or CD into a bootable drive you are able to again the, the disadvantages of this is it won't actually do your drivers so and when you make a recovery it is very specific to that computer that you've made it for just because of the driver compatibility and stuff like that so yeah again the good thing about windows 8 slash and 10 is yeah again it has the activation within the BIOS. so even if you did go to you know have it made a recovery and you can't boot in you can always access it um you can always have your activation key still there unlike Windows 7 and lower uh, but yeah let's quickly get this get to this so what you want to do is it, you can press start you can just tap to search if you've got the tap to search open it's still it's still sort of the same just type in recovery then right there we've got recovery drive you press yes make sure backup system files to recovery drive so just make sure you have that set there once you've installed once you put the USB in there I believe what it'll do is it'll search for it it will also format the drive as well, the USB, so, and turn it into a USB, a bootable drive. With some computers uh, slash laptops, you might need to change the boot priority if you want to just boot straight off of there. You might have to change the boot priority within the BIOS or before you turn on just F2, I mean F12. But different laptops kind of, or, you know, have a different way of doing it, so you might just need to revert online to have a check. Uh, so it's gonna say yeah, you need at least eight gigs to hold. I would probably feel more comfortable with 16 But at the moment I'm using a 32 because that's what I have You go next it will say everything on the drive will be deleted So make sure that this is a clean drive and you have no data on there that you don't want to be deleted and you have that backed up create and It can take about an hour to do that fully. So we're gonna come back and see what happens Okay, so now that the recovery is finished, finally, um, let's have a quick look and just see how we can tell 
this is the recovery. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to do that. And as you can see, that this is the USB. It is the recovery, and if we click into there, it has all the boot files that it needs to open up and run. But and and you can see the name changes to recovery as well. So that's really about it if you want to make a recovery drive that's that's it's as simple as that and i would recommend anyone to you know if they're first getting their computer you know laptop desktop they've you know done all the updates they've installed the driver drivers what i would recommend is after all of that process just make a recovery you never know when you might need it and in the place that i work it does come really in handy to have all that 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 recovery as a, as a whole but I hope this guy I hope this helped you guys out. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.